microservices or a microservice architecture, MSA, is a one of the methods of software systems development. It is an approach to application development in which a large application is built as a suite of modular components or services. Microservice is independently deployable service modeled around a business domain. It is a method of breaking large software applications into loosely coupled modules, in which each service runs a unique process and communicates through APIs. It can be developed using messaging or event-driven APIs, or using non-HTTP backed RPC mechanisms. Can you explain microservices? Microservices, aka microservice architecture, is an architectural style that structures an application as a collection of small autonomous services, modeled around a business domain. IDIS a variant of the service-oriented architecture, SOA, architectural style that structures an application as a collection of loosely coupled services. In microservices architecture, services should be fine-grained and the protocols should be lightweight. The benefit of decomposing an application into different smaller services is that it improves modularity and makes the application easier to understand, develop and test. It also parallelism development by enabling small autonomous teams to develop, deploy and scale their respective services independently. It also allows the architecture of an individual service to emerge through continuous refactoring. Microservices-based architectures and AB, let continuous delivery and deploy. What are the features of microservices? Decoupling, these services within a system are largely decoupled. So the application as a whole can be easily built, altered, and scaled. Componentization, microservices are treated as independent components that can be easily replaced and upgraded. Business capabilities, microservices are very simple and focus on a single capability. Autonomy, developers and teams can work independently of each other, thus increasing speed. Continuous delivery, allows frequent releases of software, through systematic automation of software creation, testing, and approval. Responsibility, microservices do not focus on applications as projects. Instead, they treat applications as products for which they are responsible. Decentralized governance, the focus is on using the right tool for the right job. That means there is no standardized pattern or any technology pattern. Developers have the freedom to choose the best useful tools to solve their problems. Agility, microservices support agile development. Any new feature can be quickly developed and discarded again. How does microservice architecture work? Clients, different users from various devices send requests. Identity providers, authenticates user or client's identities and issues security tokens. API Gateway, handles client requests. Static Content, houses all the content of the system. Management, balances services on nodes and identifies FI lures. Service Discovery, a guide to find the route of communication between microservices. Content Delivery Networks, distributed network of proxy servers in their data centers. Remote Service, enables SES information that resides on a network of IT devices. What are the pros of Spring Cloud? Complexity associated with distributed systems, this overhead includes network issues, latency overhead, bandwidth issues, security issues. Service discovery, service discovery tools manage how processes and services in a cluster can find and talk to one another. It involves a directory of services, registering services in that directory, and then being able to look up and connect to services in that directory. Redundancy, redundancy issues in distributed systems. Load balancing, load balancing improves the distribution of workloads across multiple computing resources, such as computers, a computer cluster, network links, central processing units, or disk drives. Performance issues, performance issues due to various operational overheads. Deployment complexities, requirement of DevOps skills. What Netflix projects did we use? Eureka created by Netflix, it is the Netflix service discovery server and client. Netflix Ribbon, it provides several algorithms for client-side load balancing. Spring provides smart REST template for service discovery and load balancing by using it load balanced annotation with REST template instance. How will you monitor multiple microservices for various indicators like health? Spring Boot provides actuator endpoints to monitor metrics of individual microservices. These endpoints are very special and helpful for getting information about applications like if they are up, if their components like database etc. are working good. 
But a major drawback or difficulty about using actuator endpoints is that we have to individually hit the endpoints for applications to know their status or health. Imagine microservices involving 50 applications, the admin will have to hit the actuator endpoints of all 50 applications. To help us deal with this situation, we will be using open source project located at built on top of Spring Boot Actuator. It provides a web UI to enable us visualize the metrics of multiple applications. What is the difference between service registration and discovery? When we start a project, we usually have all the configurations in the properties file. As more and more services are developed and deployed, adding and modifying these properties become more complex. Some services might go down, while some the location might change. T. His managing of properties may create issues. Eureka Service Registration and Discovery helps in such scenarios. As all services are registered to the Eureka server and lookup done by calling the Eureka server, any change in service locations need not be handled and is taken care of. What are the pros of microservices? There are many advantages in using microservices. Because these components are not dependent on the same coding language, developers can use the ones they are most familiar with. Smaller code base is easy to maintain. Easy to scale as individual component. Technology diversity i.e. we can mix libraries, databases, frameworks etc. Fault isolation i.e. a process failure should not bring whole system down. Better support for smaller and parallel team. The developers can make use of the latest technologies. The code is organized around business capabilities. Independent deployment. Deployment time reduce. Can you explain the design patterns for microservices? Ambassador, it can be used to offload common client connectivity tasks such as monitoring, logging, routing, and security, such as TLS, in a language agnostic way. Anti-corruption layer, this layer implements a facade between new and legacy applications, to ensure that the design of a new application is not limited by dependencies on legacy systems. Backends for frontends, it creates separate backend services for different types of clients, such as desktop and mobile. That way, a single back-end service doesn't need to handle the conflicting requirements of various client types. This pattern can help keep each service simple, by separating client-specific concerns. Bulkhead, it isolates critical resources, such as connection pool, memory, and CPU, for each workload or service. By using bulkheads, a single workload, or service, can't consume all of the resources, starving others. This pattern increases the resiliency of the system by preventing cascading failures caused by one service. Gateway aggregation, this aggregates requests to multiple individual microservices into a single request, reducing chattiness between consumers and services. Gateway offloading, it enables each microservice to offload shared service functionality, such as the use of SSL certificates, to an API gateway. Gateway routing, it routes requests to multiple microservices using a single endpoint, so that consumers don't need to manage many separate endpoints. Sidecar deploys helper components of an application as a separate container or process to provide isolation and encapsulation. Strangler, it supports incremental migration by gradually replacing specific pieces of functionality with new services. Can you explain the Spring Batch framework with respect to microservices? It is a batch framework that is quite comprehensive and is light in weight on the application. Its lightweight nature is a great source of positivity in the realm of microservices. This is so because it is designed in such a manner that it can facilitate the development of robust batch applications. It is that kind of a feature in the realm of microservices that can easily build upon productivity. It is especially used in the development of enterprise applications that are necessary to make sure that the applications developed are able to meet the set standards of a particular organization. How to achieve server-side load balancing using Spring Cloud Server-side load balancing can be achieved using Netflix Zool. Zool is a JVM-based router and server-side load balancing by Netflix. It provides a single entry to our system, which allows a browser, mobile app, or other user interface to consume services from multiple hosts without managing cross-origin resource sharing, CORS, and authentication for each one. We can integrate Zool with other Netflix projects like Hystrix for fault tolerance and Eureka for service discovery, or use it to manage routing rules, filters, and load balancing across your system. Can you explain consumer-driven contract? CDCs, consumer-driven contract, are a pattern for evolving services. It can be used by external systems. When we work on microservices, 
There is a particular provider who builds it and there are one or more consumers who use microservice. Generally, providers is in an XML document. But in consumer-driven contract, each consumer of service conveys the interface expected from the provider. Can you define OAuth? OAuth, Open Authorization Protocol, is allows accessing the resources of the resource owner by enabling the client applications on HTTP services such as third-party providers Facebook, GitHub, etc. So with this, you can share resources stored on one site with another site without using their credentials. Can you define SOA? SOA, Service Oriented Architecture, is a software design that comprises of software components providing service to meet the requirements of business processes and needs of software users. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.